Hi there. I'd like to share with you a way to repair corrupted OpenOffice and or LibreOffice files in the, using Writer. That generally means the extension ODT. So check this out. Here I have a file on my desktop. I'm going to double click on it and I get this. Read error. Format error discovered in the sub document content content docs XML and it gives me a very specific location for that. For most people looking at this error message uh, for the first time you think you know oh god what can I do so this is open office I guess well maybe I'll try opening it with LibreOffice and in that case um, as you'll see in a moment you also get a read error and this happened to me uh, the same error in the course of collaborating with someone else and they had written lots of comments and things using Word. Um, I have been using usually OpenOffice um, and I thought that was it. As hours and hours of work but don't fear you can you can actually fix this and I want to show you how. Okay so the first thing to do is to realize that this file um, ODT is actually just a, a, a compressed um, XML file. The XML, the data, the content of what you're actually typing is saved among uh, in other places inside of an XML which is compressed within that ODT. So what you need to be able to do is get some kind of um, decompression software. I personally like 7-zip and you don't want to uncompress it, you just want to look inside of it. So all I'm doing here is I'm right-clicking, going to my 7-zip uh, uh, icon you don't you can use other um, unzipping software I'll use 7-zip and you just click on open archive that first one and there you see what's in that compressed file and one of them is this file here content.xml and before I forget of course I want to make a copy of this because I'm going to edit that XML file so rather than uh, dealing with the original I'm going to just going to do the same thing 7-zip open archive and then here's this file content XML I haven't changed anything in here yet so what I want to do now is get this content XML somewhere where I can edit it so all I did was click and drag and I dragged it out to my desktop um, and that still leaves the file inside of my um, inside of my copied uh, open office file Okay, so this thing I can now edit. And before I do, I want to just see what that uh, error was. So I'm going to double click on the file again. That's the copy. Um, it's telling me it's a copy. And there's the, e the error. It occurs at uh, row number two, column number 4995. So actually, I'm, I'm going to write that down using Notepad++. Another very useful text editor. So I'm just going to copy that error. 2.4995. Okay, I'll move that to the side. Good. I can click on that and get rid of that window. Okay, so now I want to edit content.xml. I'm going to right click, edit with Notepad++. You can use other uh, editing files. Um, and there it is. It opened uh, that file inside of that same document in a, in a different tab. So the error was it row to uh, column 4995 and I've set up notepad++ so it opens right up without doing word wrap that's something you have to be careful of so if I were to open this using word wrap you'd see that you know it's a bit harder to navigate um, not impossible but a bit harder so I'm going to get rid of word wrap and all I want to do is go to row 2 and there are only two rows and then uh, column 4995. So I just have to scroll a little bit here and then here's this col colon is telling me where the column is so I've overshot it quite a bit. 2584 it's probably a better way to do this but I'm just gonna hunt for it manually 4511 I want 4995 I went too far okay there it is. So if I look closely at this at this set of lines here, I have that's the end that's the the error it told me, two comma four nine nine five. And what we're looking at here is actually 
a repeated annotation. So if you look at that uh, that command, it's telling me that I have this this first one, but then it repeats itself again. Annotation 766 with exactly the same number there. You see that? So all I need to do is delete one of these, and I'm going to just, I don't think it matters which one. Well, we'll see in a moment. I'm going to delete the second one that is otherwise identical, right? Starting at that style, style, and it's the same thing. So I'm going to delete all of this and just leave one of them. So now I'm going to save content.xml, which is the file that I have here on my desktop. I'm going to hit Control S to save it, and Notepad++ tells you it's saved because that icon is no longer red. And I'll just close it. I don't need that anymore. And here then is my, I'm just looking at the archive of my corrupted ODT file. I'm going to delete that content.xml that's inside of it. And then I'm going to just put this edited one back into the uh, archive, content.xml. Now let's see if it works. I'm going to quit, double click on the copy which I just edited, and there it is. That's the file that otherwise would not have been able to, I would not have uh, been able to, you know, recover this without deleting the extra little um, content there. So. Yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you. I hope that was of use and good luck using your OpenOffice or LibreOffice software.